Most mathematical algorithms require iteration. The workhorses to iterate are the for loop and the while loop. Let's have a look at the syntax. The for loop usually iterates some statements a fixed number of times. For example, use for n equals 1 colon n times. Inside the loop, n will take the value of 1, 2, 3, all the way to n times. And you can use n in expressions or as indices of matrices. I tend to use this loop the most. The while loop iterates some statements as long as an expression is true. For example, while error is greater than tolerance, tall, to iterate until an error falls below some specified tolerance. MATLAB also provides the commands continue and break to either skip the remaining statements in a loop or to terminate a loop. You probably won't use these commands very often, but sometimes they're useful. Let's try out a simple loop in MATLAB. Here is a script that is, uh, implements a very simple loop, a for loop. Um, the, ver the parameters is n times equals 10,000. That's the number of times we're going to iterate the for loop. We need to set the initial value of x to be uh, 0 0.5. We set the parameter value r to be 2.5. Then we iterate for n equals 1 to n times this uh, logistic map. x equals r times x times 1 minus x, and we end. So we have some initial value of x, and then we iterate this map n times, and then we have some resulting value of x, and here I print out what that value is. So that's a very simple loop. Um, we can run, and then we get the value of 0 0.6. We could uh, change the initial condition, say 0.1, and then run again, we still get 0 0.6. We can increase the number of iterations to 20,000, run again, we still get 0 0.6. But if we change R a little bit to make it uh, 2.6 and run, then we will get a different value. Here is a similar program written as a while loop the difference here is that we're going to do this loop when the error in our convergence is greater than some tolerance, tall. So instead of setting the number of times we run the loop, we let the loop run a variable number of times as long as our error is going to be uh, larger than 1 times 10 to the minus 8th, our tolerance, we will continue with the loop. So again, we set the initial value of x here. We set it to 0 0.1. Uh, r is 2.5. We start off with the error larger than tolerance. So we need to set the error equal to something larger than tolerance. Here, I just set it to 2 times tolerance. And then while the error is greater than tolerance, we will run this loop. We need to compute the error, so I define the error as the difference between two su su uh, consecutive iterations in absolute value. So I need to save the previous iteration, so x old equals x. We iterate, and then the error is equal to the absolute value of x minus x old. And when this, when x stops changing, to a level of tall, which is 10 to the minus 8th, then the loop will end. So we can run, it runs fast, and again we converge to 0 0.6. The computational engine of a code typically resides inside of a for loop or a while loop. Statements inside of a loop can be executed thousands of times. So that means you need to be careful writing code that's inside of a loop. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.